Well, hey everybody, Mr. Reeves back with you. And in this video, we're going to be looking at bar diagrams for algebraic expressions. All right, so if you take a look up here, I have kind of uh, created a template. Not kind of, I have created a template. So this bar right here represents X, and this rectangle here represents one. So right here I have started off by duplicating X. So we're starting off every time with X and then we're going to be creating these expressions. So we're going to create X plus 3, X minus 3, 3 times X and then X divided into 3 equal parts. All right. Okay. So again, we're starting off with the idea right here that each of these represents X. Now we don't know what X is. X could be any value that is unknown or that is changing. So each of these bars has a length of X. We don't know what it is, but we know they're all the same. Now if I want to do X plus 3, so I'm going to start with what I have, which is X here, okay? And then I'm going to add 3. Now I do know that this length right here is 3. So I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of it and put one right there. So I've added one on. Okay. Then I'm going to make a copy of it again. Now I've added two on. And then I'm going to make one more copy and add on three. Okay. So what do I now have? I have x here. And then this is one. And this is one. And this is one. So this entire expression is equal to x plus 3. This part here is x. That part there is 3. So the whole thing is x plus 3. All right. So what about if I want to do x minus 3? Well, when you add a positive number, it increases the value. By the way, here I'm going to go ahead and say that this part now is 3, right? So that whole thing is x plus 3 right? Like that. Okay, so what about x minus 3? All right, well, it's going to be interesting because now instead of adding that on, actually, I'm going to take it away. All right, so I want to make a copy of this like I did before. Let's see, why am I not able to get a copy? There we go, like I did before. Only now... Now I'm going to be removing it. So instead of putting it on on the end, I'm going to put it on in the inside. Okay, so I'm putting it in the inside here. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Let's try this again. All right, sorry, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. One, two, and three. All right, so I guess I got a copy already. There we go. Okay, so now what do we have here? I should just not mess with it. All right, so this is one, this is two, and this is three, right? So this part right here is three. But now you'll notice that that three is on the inside, right? So this part here that is left, so if the whole thing were x, then this part right here is going to be x take away 3, right? This part right here, let me use some color to indicate. So this part right here is the x minus 3. Let me go ahead and do this, outline this whole thing. That whole thing is x plus 3. Okay, so what we're looking for is the green part. Whoa, 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 no. I didn't want that to happen. x minus 3. We're looking for the, the whole thing here to be the green part. All right, so this whole thing here is x plus 3. This part here is x minus 3. All right, now what about this one? Now I want to do 3x. Well, remember, 3x, what does that mean? All right, what does 3x actually mean? 3 times x means x plus x 
plus x. That's what it means, right? So I need three of these. So if this is 1x, then I actually need two more of these. All right, so there's one, and I'm going to slide it over and put it right there, okay? And then I'm going to copy that one and slide it over and put it right there. All right, so can you now see, right, what I had? I had x here, x here, and x here. So this entire thing, wow, this is going to take me a long time here. Here we go. Whoa, my goodness, Mr. Eves, can't you do better than that? Wait, I'm afraid to get out my eraser. Oh, good, it didn't erase the whole thing. I was afraid it was going to erase the whole thing. So let's see if we can stay a little bit. Wow, that's really bad. I think Mr. Reeves needs to go back to kindergarten to learn how to color within the lines, or in this case, on the line. Wow. Wow, this is bad news. Okay, I'm not even going to pretend that I'm doing a good job here. Sorry about that. A little bit better on here. Woo -wee. Okay, so that entire thing is 3x. That entire thing is 3x. This is really bothering me. Really bothering me. I really shouldn't get bothered by this. I used to pride myself on my coloring skills. Okay, so that entire thing is 1x plus another x plus another x. That's 3x. All right, and finally, the last thing we want is we want x divided into 3. Well, that means I want to divide it into three equal parts. So you can see I cheated a little bit here before uh, I started. I put these markings. I measured it off so I could divide it pretty closely into three even parts. All right, and once again, Mr. Reeves can't make a straight line. There, that's better. Okay, so now I've broken it up into three equal parts. So this part is x divided by 3, this part is x divided by 3, and this part is x divided by 3. So since we want x divided by 3, the answer for the part of the expression we're looking for is this part right here. All right, so this is one-third of x, or x divided by 3. This whole thing is 3 times x. This part here is x, so the whole thing was x. Take away those 3 that we didn't want. And this one right here, the whole thing is x, and then we added 3 more at the end. All right, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we use bar diagrams to show algebraic expressions. And of course, the numbers will change. It could be x plus 5 or 4 times x. But this is how you add on. This is how you subtract. This is how you multiply. And this is how you divide. What happened to my extra lines here? I'm not sure. We'll add them in before I close this video. All right, there we go. All right, so each one of those parts is x divided by 3. And that Ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this video. Until next time, have a great day.